Hey guys, happy Tuesday. And we've already done Taco Tuesday, so nobody needs to watch somebody ground some meat and put some seasoning in it, cut up lettuce and tomatoes. Okay, I'm not taking Taco Tuesday tomorrow. I'm gonna take me some pizza pockets. So I have the dough left over from the ham and cheese. Uh, hot pockets from this weekend and uh, we were chatting in the description box down below that video also i need to go back into evelyn's video the two-year-old superstar and pick a winner of the giveaway because the, the lady that we originally picked still has not surfaced so this dough has been in the fridge and so it is a little i don't know it's like it feels like it would be really workable even for straight out of the fridge like i don't really think i need to leave it sit out so i'm gonna try to do a bigger pizza like a fat head pizza and then we're gonna try our hand at some either a mini maybe a mini pizza for one and two pizza pockets now i didn't pre-plan this so i have bait i have um pepperoni and i have um mozzarella cheese if i had my way i'd have some mushrooms and some black olives and some things all the things we would have us like a supreme pizza pocket, but we're gonna go with what we got and sit will eat it. So, I hear him over there grumbling about the vegetables. Anyways, so I'm gonna get some parchment paper out so we can start rolling out our dough balls and we can start figuring out what all we're gonna stuff inside of them. I thought about doing a mini pizza, a pizza pocket, and maybe trying something more like an adult hot pocket. I mean, an adult to um, can't even say toaster strudel, like a toaster pie. You know what I mean? Pop tart, that kind of thing. Like with some cream cheese and some of our jelly we got from Keto Con, and bake that in there and put cut some strips, makes it look like those kind of pastries that you get at the convenience store with, the, you know, the bear claws or whatever. I don't know about you, but it sounds delicious. I wish I had about 85 more dough balls because I could probably think of 85 more things to do with them. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. My name is Tony and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back. And I do a lot of recipe videos. I do some grocery hauls. I love to cook. So that is my gift. My gift to keto is to, to share creative uh, recipes that you can take and make your own or find some that maybe uh, you haven't ran across before like I just like to cook I also do have a green chef box that I got I did do an unboxing video of that and I'll put it with the recipes I was gonna do that tonight honestly I had the cards right here ready to go um, but your girl is coming down with something. I cooked all weekend. If you saw my Instagram today, you saw I went the easy route with some cauliflower mash, bird's eye cauliflower mash at that, not even homemade, with ham, cheddar cheese, bacon bits, sour green. Oh, it was, oh, and some green onions. It was so good. It was really good. So, I digress. It was really good. Look at my Instagram, you'll see the pictures. And I did post last night exactly what I took to throw that together at work, just using the microwave. So it was super easy, <coughs> super quick, and yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so I'm gonna get some parchment paper and our little rolling pin, and we're gonna like <coughs> cough and sniffle and do all the things because we're coming down with something. I've been using the essential oil sprays that I got from KetoCon, and I need to talk to you guys about that because I really didn't do a full review for you guys about a lot of the items that I got from KetoCon yet. It's just been so busy since I got home. But um, I met two different people who do essential oils that are great for your immune system. And for those of you who don't know, I do not have a spleen. I had one when I was born, but it went crazy on me and they had to take it out. So it's a long story. I will do that in another video. But without a spleen, you have a very poor immune system. So a nice young lady, and I'll get her information out when I do that video, gave me some essential oils you put on the bottom of your feet when you get out of the shower. Apparently that's a very moisturous, I mean, very absorbent part of your body when your feet are wet. So I did some of that. And then the other a, a gentleman at another booth gave me some spray that you spray and then you breathe it in. And it's supposed to help and like, I already feel like I'm getting better, which really is, doesn't happen for me without an immune system. Like the sniffles turns into pneumonia in 24 hours. So we're doing good that we're, like I had 102 fever this morning and I'm not having a fever right now. 
I am on a little bit of day coel, but like usually that doesn't help. So we are making progress, essential oils. I really need to do more research. I don't want to talk on them until I know what I'm talking about because I truly don't. So we have our keto cocktail. It's a Moscow mule. It's made with diet, with sugar-free ginger beer. That is, this one's flavored with sucralose. The Zevia does have a flavor, but I can't find it anywhere. And then, um, what was the name? Virgil's is, a new, is coming out with one. It's not in the stores yet, but they did give us samples of KetoCon. It is fabulous. It's not too much gingery. So just one tiny shot glass of Tito's with some ginger beer and two quarters of a lime squished in there. And then you have even have my copper cup they gave me Isn't that nice all right so this is my little keto cocktail to sip on hmm what's better than a little keto cocktail and some pizza i mean like what could be better than that all right we're just gonna play mad science tonight we're just gonna see what we can pump out of this kitchen with this dough so here we go crazy 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 i have big ball we're gonna start with that one first and as I showed you guys in my video this weekend, I like to work it with my hand for a, ton, for a while to keep that round shape. I do have a pizza stone, I do have a pizza peel, but because I want everyone to feel like this is something that they don't have to have extra special pan and pots and pans and dishes and things, not everybody has a pizza peel or a pizza stone, so I'm gonna just try to do this as if I didn't. I'm just gonna get my rusty old pizza pan out and we're going to just make that work. What did I do with one? Oh, that's the one I wanted. All right, so I'm just gonna keep trying to work this out a little bit because it is still kind of cold. So we might work on the little ones and let this sit for a minute because it is like not wanting to move. Y'all, I've been just dreaming ever since I made this, this dough. You know, it's not all sticky. Like, you don't have to have your fingers wet and it's all tacky everywhere. It's really firm. Just call around to some of your nutrition centers if you don't want to wait for for that oat fiber to come in on Amazon. Um, or, you know, whatever you want to order it from. But um, I have no patience. I'll just call around, find somewhere local. Just really want to keep this as round as possible. But we want to get this pretty darn thin we're gonna bake it on 400 for seven minutes we're gonna take it out and top it and put it back in the oven for another seven minutes or until it's crispy and golden you see how i'm working in a circle here so we're trying to keep our circle shape not that it makes it taste any different but i just like things that look pretty i eat with my eyes first if you watch my if you will follow me on instagram i get so many comments that my pictures look like food porn. If someone could please describe to me what food porn is, I would be grateful. Cause uh, I don't know, is that a dominatrix in a black leather suit with a whip beating a tomato or like, I don't know, I don't know. I really do know that there's some people that just get gratification of looking at food but I am one of those that is very much a visual eater like I have to it has to look pretty or I'm not gonna eat it it has to be pretty so we're gonna take our time I'm just gonna keep working this out hopefully we're gonna get it maybe a good 12 inches if not more but we don't want to go too too thin but we don't want too thick either so I'm gonna just continue to work this I don't think you need to watch me continue to rest wrestle wrestle this dough <clears throat> so i'm just going to continue to work this out we'll see how big we get it i'll get out that old rusty pizza pan and i just don't use it i usually use my pizza peel i mean my pizza stone all right so not to bore you to complete an utter death i'm going to keep working on this and charge up my battery because apparently it's low imagine that all right, so we got a little bit of battery, but while you're gone, I rolled out this pizza dough. I got out my pizza pan, and I am extra, so I cut my parchment paper. But I have just kind of pressed out a little bit of a crust and kind of tucked it in on the edges, you know, just kind of, I'm just 
picky, okay? I'm sorry, I'm picky. Okay, so just push down on the edges a little bit to form a little bit of a crust around the edge. And this is going, the oven's still preheating, but this is gonna go into the oven. We're gonna cook this for seven, eight minutes until it's like starting to get golden and cooked. Then we're gonna put all our toppings on there and we're gonna put it back in for another seven, eight minutes. So I'm excited about that. And then while this is cooking, we'll start working on our little dough balls, which I wrapped back up in their cellophane because we don't want them to get dried out. So they, they keep really good. So I made these on Saturday. So they've kept in the fridge since Saturday and today is Tuesday. So if you froze them, it said you could freeze them also. So, I mean, I almost feel like I would roll mine out like this with two sheets of parchment paper and then wrap it in foil and freeze it like this. So that it was already ready to go and just fly it out, let it thaw, all of that work and come home and make pizza. I mean, like meal prep it on the weekends or whatever. I don't know. The world is our oyster and keto. Yummy, okay. I think, I'm thinking if we should poke some holes in it. I don't know if it'll bubble up because a normal crust I would poke holes, but it didn't say anything about that. I don't know, I'll watch it the first few minutes. If I see it start to bubble, we'll pull it back out and punch some holes in it. So we don't want a big bubbly mess. All right, I'll see you when, this, when the oven is preheated and this has been in there for seven minutes. Hey guys, okay, so our oven is preheated. Our pizza crust is rolled out and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. Set our timer for seven minutes. Okay, I have this pizza sauce I'm gonna use. Can see that? It has two, 3.5 net carbs, one fiber. So it's 2.5 for every fourth of a cup. I don't know about you, but I ain't putting a whole, I might put a whole fourth of a cup on the entire pizza, but not like per slice, like, hmm. So very minimal. And what are we gonna do with these? So excited, y'all. Like a little mad scientist. Let's do some stuff. Right? Is this fun? Let's do some stuff. Do the things. Okay. So I think one of these I'm going to split in half and we're going to make two pastries. I think it's a little big to be one pastry. So let me just split this in half. We want to make these, I think, a square shape. Oh, wow. That would help if you could see. Okay see what I was doing over here so I am gonna use some parchment paper I'm gonna roll this out kind of like a log and then kind of start pressing it down because what I want is a big rectangle we'll see how big we can make this it may not be enough for two but I'm making like a pastry so I want it to be smaller let's just try it we're gonna try it okay let's just try it let's just be a mad genius in the kitchen I mean like I'm thinking like a keto pop tart type of situation yeah we're getting serious with our parchment paper situation over here because I had to break out the backup box so that needs to go on the grocery oh yeah this is gonna grow out really nice okay let's just get these nice and rolled out we don't want them too thin okay we can kind of straighten these up once we take this top paper off. So let's get this one rolled out. See what my mastermind has come up with. We're just trying to create some stuff that we can have. Oh, that smells good. Okay, so as you see, I have my pepperonis out. I have my big giant bag of mozzarella, which is like a staple in a keto house. If you don't have mozzarella, you're doing something wrong. All right, smells. I need to clean my oven, y'all. I think I've been saying that in about the last three months of videos. I use it so much. Okay, so these look like crazy shapes. So we're gonna kinda, they're very, it's very forgiving. Like you can reshape it, we're just gonna Try to get us a nice little triangle out of this. My intention is <coughs> something. 
is burning in my oven. Okay. So my thought was this one's a little bit bigger than the other one. Let's kind of box this up. We might need to go over here. So you just Frankenstein this thing together. I just want to make sure they're both pretty close to the same size. And these are going to be like a little Danish, so they're not going to be big. Super big. Okay. So, my madness shall come through. My method to my madness shall come through here in a few minutes. Okay. Let's get this together. Let me go grab some cream cheese. We are about to make some magic happen. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna spread this cream cheese. Make sure I didn't rip that. Yes, I did. Okay, well, we're, let me fix it. Okay, so I should have left this out at room temperature for a little while because it really needed to soften up a little so we don't tear our dough up. But. This is gonna be so good, you guys. I can't even. So we're gonna continue to just like let this kind of soften up, make sure we're not tearing up our dough. But we're gonna leave about an inch around, you know, like a good, we wanna leave a good portion around the outside. Cause you remember this is gonna melt and be bubbly and, and I did just peek at our pizza dough and I do think that it's gonna need to be a couple of fork holes put in it. It's beeping at me now. Let's let this heat kinda, I think it needs a little more, but I do think maybe that we should cut a couple of, poke a couple of holes in it, see where it's bubbling up. So I'm gonna grab a fork. We're gonna turn this off. I'm gonna put it back in for about two more minutes. So we'll just pop. Woo. That was not okay. We almost had a big catastrophe there. Wow. Okay, we're not qualified to be in this kitchen right now, apparently. I'm just gonna put some little fork sticks in here. Keep the bubbles from hopping up. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here. Grab right back our oven mitt and put this back in the oven. And let's put this on for another two minutes. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna continue to, this is just gonna come melty and delicious anyway, so. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay, so we got some cream cheese. It's gonna be all bubbly and delicious. I'm gonna use the sugar-free strawberry. I was gonna use some of the ones we got from Keto Plum, but it's a small bottle and it's so delicious and I don't wanna put it, just use it all in one. So I'm gonna just kind of stir this up a little bit. So, so I'm gonna put some of this on here. I don't know if y'all see where I'm going with this, but this is gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're just gonna get this. And then we're gonna take this piece and fold it over the other piece. We're gonna, it's probably going to. So, we're going to just kind of pinch these together. We're just gonna roll these over. I mean, we just winging it here. I don't care, because it is going to be fabulous. So I'm just gonna keep picking this up and just rolling this bottom, because I made the bottom just a little bit. And just keep folding it over 
I see we got a little raspberry poking out or strawberry poking out over here, but that's all right. I'm just gonna keep going around all the edges and rolling it over each other and just getting this sealed up real tight on all these little edges. And this will steam up pretty good. So just like you see the pastries at the store, let's see that strawberry. I didn't do that. You didn't see that. You're not eating it anyway. Okay, so this is going to be our pop tart. And what we're going to do is take our little knife. We're just going to put us some slits in the top of this. So as it cooks, it can open up. So we're going to get our other two. Um, one going to be roll, rolled out as pizza pocket and a, pizza, a little personal pan pizza. And we're going to get our big pizza out of the oven. It is chirping at us. We put it back in for two more minutes. It just didn't look as done as I would like it. And I burnt myself and all the things. Check that out. Check that out. Yummy. Okay. So I'm going to set this off to the side here. Turn off this timer. Um, kind of organize the chaos here. And then get this jelly put up. Because while I'd like to make two dozen of those, that would probably be the most unwise decision to have 12 of those in the house. Because I think that is going to be probably my favorite thing of all the things. And then we're going to work on pressing out our other two little dough balls. And I'm right now I'm going to uh, top our pizza. So I'm gonna get a towel to put down here on the counter. We're getting that dang battery light. I keep trying to charge it between things, but I should have charged it today while I was gone to at work, but I didn't. So this is complaining about it. Okay, so here is our pizza crust. Oh wow. Let's go ahead and get us some sauce. Just gonna kind of pour it around a little bit. Just eyeball it. And we can take this pretty close to the edge. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. A little sparse with the sauce there. Let's get a little bit more. I mean, we don't want heartburn or anything, but... Okay. Are you cheese on the bottom or cheese on the top? I like the cheese on the sauce. Boy, this will be so good with some black olives. Ooh Sid is not a black olive fan, so he's probably pretty happy that I don't have any. Let's see. You don't have to be on camera. I'm just asking you to look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now look, we just made a, a strawberry strawberry cheesecake pop tart. A strawberry cheesecake pop tart. It's got cream cheese and strawberry jelly in it. Mm-hmm. We playing mad scientist tonight, babe. Chefing it up. Because we just didn't get enough of cooking for 20 hours a day on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> really, it was like 12 hours a day. I was exaggerating. Okay. I mean, this is our pepperoni. We could put as much as we want. Extra pep. Extra pep. I can see Italian sausage on this. I can see you like olives. Don't say it, Sid. Then we know you don't like them. We could put... So then we're just going to do an extra little big high sprinkle of cheese, babe. Oh, I'll grab it. The bowl turned on. OMG, the camera turned off. So here's our pizza. Top. Pizza sauce. 
cheese on the bottom, pepperoni, a little sprinkle of cheese, and we're gonna go on with some grated Parmesan. All right, so I'm gonna get this seven minutes here, baby. Seven minutes in the microwave, I mean in the microwave, in the oven, or just until everything is bubbly and, and delicious. Hey guys, okay, so here's what we've got going on. Have any of you ever watched, what is her channel? Sunny Lenarduzzi. She like all talks about how to start a YouTube channel and how to build views and how to, just really entertaining and engaging. Like I don't feel like I'm getting taught something. I feel like just she's just talking to me. Okay, so we're gonna grab our pizza. It has I put it on two more minutes. So this is 10 minutes after topping, okay? Oh yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and turn off our timer because I only have three seconds left. What the total heck is that? <clears throat> and, oh yeah, nice and crispy underneath. Oh, tell me that does not look like Tony's Pizza. Get it, Tony's Pizza. <laughs> anyway, okay, whatever, don't judge me. I don't have my late night comedy show for nothing. Whatever. All right, so we have our one pastry. We have one that we're gonna punch some holes in because we figured out that this does puff up if you don't punch some holes. This is gonna be our personal size pan pizza and then we're gonna do a pepperoni pizza pocket. I have it rolled out because I have to charge up my camera because I'm terrible and I need an extra battery because I'm terrible. Okay, so I've rolled this out already to about six inches. I have my own measuring method which is like one, two, three, four, five, yeah. It's very technical. It's copyrighted, so don't try to steal it. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna make sure this is all nice and rounded out. And we are going to make this into a pizza pocket, kind of like we did our ham and cheese pocket. So let's get us some pizza sauce. We're gonna go ahead and do this like we did the mustard on the ham and cheese. We're just gonna spread it around and leave ourselves a section. I'm not gonna do a ton of sauce. Um, we're just gonna leave ourselves a good section around the outside because we need this thing to seal. All right. We are going to put in some pepperonis. Let me tell you, if I had more stuff on hand, I would be putting all the stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on here first. I'm gonna kind of stick this on one side and then again, we're gonna clean up our our seal. We're gonna put a little more cheese on it, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure we got our seal area clean. So, so we're just gonna get us some pepperonis. I think these were from Kroger's. Yeah, it does say Kroger's right on the package. I think these are from Kroger's. It does say Kroger's, so you know, I'm just guessing. Anyways. I'm having delirium at this point. All right, so let's put a little bit more cheese on here. And like really, honestly, y'all could do anything you want. I just thought we'd try this because we were all kind of talk talking in the chat box about this. Like what all could we make with this dough? Like it is amazing and it's not all sticky and you have to have wet hands and it's really a lot more forgiving. So, we're gonna hold our stuff together and keep just poking it back in there because it's gonna roll. We probably could have like, you know, kind of made a mixture with some like, I mean, let's try to seal it with the parchment paper first to try to get as many areas like pushed in and sealed up as possible. We really stuffed this one pretty good, so. Okay, let me see. Let's fill this back, and then we'll do some doctoring on it. Because I just ripped it right there. So anyways, we're gonna just kinda roll our edges up just like we did the ham pocket. I'm just gonna get our edges kinda up and over. I just used the parchment paper I pitched down with my finger 
my fingers and then I roll up. I see this little piece of cheese poking out here. So we'll just pull it out. You don't want to go in, you'll come back out. Cooperate. So we're just going to seal this by rolling our parchment paper up over. So I'm just holding it down and you're just going to keep folding it over. And then holding it over and if you get some areas where it starts to kind of get wonky just keep pushing them together it's really forgiving it's, so what i did last time when i had those areas i took a little pinches of from this extra stuff over here on the corners and i just kind of flattened it out and kind of made band-aids for anywhere that i thought it looked like something was going to pop out of it so here we go with our pepperoni our pizza hot pocket tell me that doesn't look fabulous so this one's pretty much just like the other one except for what's in it and uh, I'm just gonna make sure everything and I'll just take this and kind of smooth it over make sure that all those little those little areas where we patched it kind of make sure that they adhere seal it all up real good I'm gonna take this off of here and we're gonna put it on our cookie sheet. So here's our variety plate. This is our strawberry and cream cheese, bear claw so to speak. This is our pepperoni hot pocket and this is our personal pin pizza. We're gonna put this in the oven for seven minutes, take it out, top this, and then put them all back in and let them cook together to all together again for another seven. So I'm gonna get this in the oven. I mean seriously guys. Can, can it be any better? Yeah, like, yeah, look yeah, yeah, at that pizza. Oh, sugar. Yeah, we about to let this cool off for a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it up. Charge my battery again, damn. Guys, look at the pizza. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. The crust is nice and golden. I'm gonna cut that up here in a minute. So let's go back over here. And these have been in the oven so you see we're already browning on our little personal pizza dough. So I'm gonna take that one off of the plate. These are still pretty underdone. So we're gonna put these back in alone and then we'll go back in with this one by itself. Um, so I'm gonna pull that off with something that I'm not gonna burn myself with. So here is our Danish. That was the word I've been looking for. And here is our pizza pocket. Look at that baby, ooh wee. Okay, and then this is gonna be our little personal pan pizza, personal size pizza. All right, got things going on, shaking and baking. So that was eight minutes total in the oven. All right, guys, this is our Danish. Look at that. Ho, 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 ho. Too hot to eat. Here's our Hot Pocket. Our personal size pizza, I just topped and threw back in the oven and I just put it on like three minutes because it was really already cooked. But this baby right here, whoo wee. You got nothing on me, Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket. Oh, I'm gonna get trouble for that, right? Oh my gosh. Not scared, not scared. But this, like, this is serious. I'm about to taste it. I'm excited. Gonna be using paper plates tonight. I am trying not to do dishes. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm trying to get sick and all the things. Okay, guys, here we go. This is our little personal pan pizza. Why is it so dark over here? Let's go back here. This is our pizza pocket. You see our cheese and pepperoni inside. And this is our strawberry and cream cheese. Like, I am super excited about this one. Like, oh, mm mm. Mm mm. Have you ever seen the convenience store, like where they have the cream cheese and fruit, like the danishes? These are on the menu. Mm. OMG guys, we just made miracles happen. Make the dang dough. Make the dang dough. Hey guys, okay, well it's Tony and I've made some danishes. I've made some pizza, I've made some individual pizzas. I've done some things with this dough. It just all turned out absolutely amazing. You have to try this dough. So I thank you for watching. 
Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been here. I have to go to bed. I am super tired and on all kinds of nighttime cold medicine, so I'm feeling a little dizzy myself. So let's go Mimi, get ourselves reset for tomorrow. Hopefully we can wave off this cold and we can be good. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I have a grocery haul for you. I've already filmed it, but I'm trying to be better at dosing out my videos. I don't know. Do you like it when I do that? Or do you like it when I just like put them all out there and then you guys can watch them during the week? I don't know. Conversate in the description below. Let me know if you're trying these recipes. This dough is wonderful. Try the dough. Make the dang dough. Alrighty guys. I'll see you tomorrow and thank you. Wait. Don't want to say that. I mean it so much and I mean it in my heart. Thank you so much for watching.